right, here we go. We're back on. Welcome back, everybody. We're one five six. Did I say that, or is it one five seven? Five seven. Five six. Five six. Right. Yeah. All right. Welcome back, everybody. Woo! Here we go. Ghost HSG on Logar. We're ready. We're gonna be following Ghost. U.S. Army here. For this first match. Yes, I go see him. Bushley, Bushley. Uh, welcome. Matt's back here. Karma Cut's back here. We got Doc East on. Oakland okay. ABK. Welcome back, everybody. What's up? What's up? Good to have you guys here. Ready for another match here. This is our uh, last semifinal of the day. Just about 30 seconds here. Get my go 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 queued up. You guys are ready to go, man. They're itching to so get to much it. Right now, I just cleaned my mouse, and it's already drenched in sweat. Five seconds. Five seconds. Three, 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 two, two, one. Go. All right, and they're off. What kind of a uh, squad set does a uh, ghost run right now? Ghost two has. Full squads. What do they got? Two squads. Yep. There's our roster putting that up on the screen there. Again, we're playing on Logar. So you can see, uh, just zooming out really quick, you can see Ghost uh, just shooting out two guys down to. Um, it's North Central, or South Central, sorry. Uh, they're, they're, what they're trying to do is basically trying to get right into the face of uh, HSG pretty much right away. Um, the, that's a very valid tactic. Oh, looks like they did the spawn trick. Okay. I'm on your six bear packs. They waited to spawn in more. Looks like it just dropped a rally. Yep. The initial uh, grenadiers trying to get a few kills on a uh, ghost from across the map here, trading shots. Ghost is now inside South Central, so it's interesting to see how uh, HSG is going to deal with this, whether they decide to push in directly or if they're going to slowly, uh, methodically work their way uh, inside. Alright, first contact uh, South Central right now, Ghost and HSG. There's a very strong push from the South Southwest from HSG right now. Um, getting into that, that South Central compound is very, it's going to be pretty difficult at times. And there's a lot of different angles and different approaches to cover and defend and attack at the same time. Um, so, so trying to get there is pretty, pretty difficult. Once you have somebody that's in there, and they're lodged in there, usually pretty tough. Um, and you're trying to get them out. It's pretty interesting. The ghost doing a really good job of spraying themselves out and digging in on that point. Very important to watch your spacing when you're defending the objective as teams will usually frag the objective before they breach. They just see stacking up, getting ready to enter here. Ghost capping uh, at North Central, about half cap. We're getting a radio call out right now. So far, it looks uh, as really the defending is actually happening down inside the objectives themselves. Um, there's not very much actually maneuvering going on um, in any extended length from either H. Just your ghost. Of course, ghost. All over they have to do right now is sit tight where they're at, and then uh, and go once they capture uh, South Central. Update. The ghost does have actually a couple people south of South Central, just putting some feelers out there trying to catch a couple of HSG reinforcements uh, unaware. Update. It's almost capped. How's, how's it looking on yours? We have it. All right. Yeah, we Taking it really work. slow. We're yeah, like I say, it's right very difficult to push into that, that objective. A lot of deals flying about. HSG actually has an FOB with an ammo box um, south of North Central. 
are just continually uh, fragging what they can, trying to get some indirect fire onto those points, and it's just the uh, attacking squads. I'll keep that in. Captain. Half cap. My advice coming now. Yeah, definitely starting to shift over south central here. Yep. With the... With the guys skirmish like this, you're going to see a lot of the... It, it's a very fast and furious map, obviously, being skirmish as it is. But uh, being so close quarters down here, actually working through the city, uh, north and south. Um, there's not a whole lot of, of room for maneuver. Okay. There are... Uh, moving on those, the mountains to the east and the west. But... Um, you can't do that really without... You know, without teams expecting that happening, I mean, you, you can kind of feel, you can kind of notice a, a difference in pushing, um, and when you're defending an objective, um, enemy team pushing you, you know, when you can tell that they're kind of e easing off you a little bit, either one or two things are happening. Either they're, they're kind of burning them out, and they're not spawning and pushing you, or, and you might be able to push out, or they're, they're moving around you, or cutting off and coming at you from another angle, so you better be aware of that. So, we're on our way. That's what you're gonna go. see. You'll see movers, you know, the east and west hills up there. It sounds like Ghost. Just and the south side Envy. Envy and Daddy Koala doing a really good job screening for the uh, defenders on Ghost. Slowing down a lot of these HSG reinforcements and catching them as they're uh, moving in. Envy already at four kills right off the break here. We're seeing that at uh, 135 tickets for HSG after this initial contact. Friendly, friendly coming into north, friendly. I'll take yeah, 142 here for, uh, for Ghost. Just about five minutes here into the match, this is the semi-final for Ghost and HSG. Winner of the next two uh, rounds here is going to advance on in our bracket. Just seeing out. all this, and then seeing, um, seeing how the game's going to change here shortly. Just, you know, Straight towards the end of the south. year, which is getting more more mechanics coming in from the developers. So, going from a strictly infantry perspective of a game to dealing with vehicles, doing with logistics and everything like that. Mark so, it, seeing how it is now compared to how it's going to be, you know, going back and looking at these videos, it's going to be pretty interesting. I think you're going to see an entirely different style of. I am different. Absolutely, that's, that's void. Yeah, absolutely, that's what I mean. Like, you're gonna see things change completely. Tastic tactics that are, that are used now, and people, you know, where by now, are necessarily gonna be the same, you know, several months down the road from now. You're gonna see all of this as long as we go. HSG Grenadiers still shelling and doing as much damage as they can onto South Central, trying to get whatever kills they can with that indirect fire. Um, there are a couple Ghost players that did continue shifting out to the South to set up that screen again. But HSG's doing a good job of fighting these guys and uh, pushing closer and closer. Yeah, it's, it's more of a brute force battle right now. It, both teams are, Ghost is trying to hold on, and, and HSG is just slamming into him as hard as they can. Of course, again, like I said before, the focus of this of this skirmish layer like this is very fast and very furious. There's not very much room for, for maneuver and uh, and getting slick. 139 tickets here for Ghost. How are we looking on the HSG side? 119 for HSG. So just about a 20 ticket difference here. up my map here there you can see south central and north central controlled by ghost as well as north town we're going to be pinching we south town is the only objective that hsg holds it's going to be their defense flag and that is going to be the attack flag for ghost but it looks like ghost right now not really focusing uh too many um Video, resources in terms on? of trying to get on that south center we're pinching, um, we're pinching. south we're town good. flag most of them just right now hunkered down in South Central, fending off this HSG um, attack. And like you said, um, Karma cut that indirect fire from their GLs. Yeah, it's true about how much damage that's actually doing to Ghost. I'm not seeing much of a dent on these guys right now. 
Mental, mental thing, sure, you know, by, but it, right now it's down here in the spots. not very it's effective. Okay. I don't, I don't, this is the first time I've seen it like yeah. this. The constant this map little... is so, so condensed, but the thing is that there's so much cover. There's all these buildings, all these walls that really limits the effectiveness of this kind of tactic. Uh, that and not being able to see very well from that, that perspective back there, too. That's three other guns you can have up front. So having those guys hang back like that, yeah, it's a good idea in theory, but again, that's also a theory. Um, actually, you think I'm not saying it very effective. Those three guns could be better used actually trying to get into the objective itself. But I mean, I mean maybe I, I, I might be wrong. You know, we'll see. But from what we see now, I, I yeah. Just really dug in here using those buildings, using all the same things spread out. Really slowing down HSG and HSG is having a really hard time trying to find a good way to breach this. There's a so, a hard style seems to have reached in on the north side of the compound now, and he's uh, he's just holding one of the rooms. Yeah, I see that. Again, like I said, it, it just turns into brute force on this, man. You'll see a lot of just, just massive slugfest going back and forth between the two teams. Um, you, you, every once in a while, you'll see some uh, some good, tricky movements, you know, some really great, great maneuvers that end up, you know, costing the round for any other team or whichever. They're but, trying to surround us. Um, yes, see right there, HSG actually just got a t team kill, I think, with one of those grenades. Took out two of their own guys. Another issue with having, you know, that... that out an area weapon like that. They're on the west and outside. West and south. Hard style's on a little bit of a spree here. They're starting to take us out. Seems to be a bit of a... Just a, a, a grind right now. Are these really making any headway? Forwards or backwards? Benny, watch it in this yeah, room. To my right. And to my right. He's in the room. <laughs> There yeah, we go. Hard house goes down, but he takes yeah. uh, 50 shades with him. And we're going to pull up the roster there. We see 36 kills there for Ghost, 24 for HSG. And 95 tickets for HSG right now. And 126 here for Ghost. Yeah, these ghost guys are doing a very good job of uh, watching these choke points. And a lot of the times, these once these guys like they take South Central, they take their eyes off those doors. It's like you know that's the only that's the only point that those that you're going to see infantry guys coming into South Central is through these really like four locations, especially in South Central. And ghosts, they just dedicate these guys. Just watch that door, watch that door, and you know it might seem like wasted energy, but a lot of the times it pays off. If you keep watching that door, eventually there's going to be a push, and you're going to get that kill. As Definitely. they come walking through the door, because because you know they have to push in there and take that, so you you're expecting it automatically. What you'll see in like public games, you know, trying to com compare these these clan matches to public games is, is people people have the intention to get up a net in a, in public games. You know, they'll come in and take an objective with a squad leader who's you know giving them proper direction and moving them around, but they'll end up seeing a shiny object off in the side of the map and go run off and do it. Um, defending objective is gonna. Trust Depending on the objective, it, what yeah, objective it is, you, you are, might have to def defend in depth. You know, Don't space off an objective here. to defend it. Um, I mean, deny the enemy movement to attack you to begin with to defend the objective. And some some objectives you have to be on top of it. Uh, so in this case, obviously, like I said, being in close, fast, furious, ghosts have to sit on top of this to defend it. And uh, they're really good at doing that right now. Watching those objectives, keeping in close. What you don't see in public matches a lot of the time. Copy that. You see a small skirmish here going on off the uh, northwest side of the map. HSG trying to get a flank or something, so, trying to find a way in on the north. But Ghost has seen oh, that yeah. squad and they are engaging them on the off on the northwest. Okay, so right, Ghost is tracking that. They they're, they're they, they space some guys up that direction to be aware of that. So you can also see HSG up to the southeast right now and moving on two or three guys out there on this hill. Um, they're probably going to try and sneak around to the side, do what they have to do, probably get some kind of elevation advantage up there. But Ghost is just just holding on to that that objective too tightly. Um, they're 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 tracking to, to keep what to watch those east and west sides right now. 
The ghost looks like they're, they're kind of massing where they believe HSG is pushing, and sure enough, they're pushing him. 120 this... tickets here for ghost. 77 here for HSG. Those grenadiers are now doing more harm than they are actually helping HSG at this it, point. It, exactly. It's a very trivial... Trivial thing. I'd rather have more weapons up front, more manpower. Then fit it back. This GL section might be more, more useful down close, lobbing grenades through those doorways. You know, from back from where they're at right now. They have elevation to shoot down into South Central. But from Absolutely. that position they have right now, they have very limited visibility. And they're just firing blindly, and it's catching even a couple of their own teammates in the uh, fire. Right. Really quieted down here at South Central as uh, Ghost successfully pushes HSG completely off the objective. Yeah, I think HSG just came completely on steam there. They seem to be spawning back on main. Yeah, uh, Ghost... HSG's fob is just really close to their main. It's basically just a 50 meter extension of their main. It's not really in any good position to set up a flank or get units back closer into the fight. It's really awkwardly close to the uh, main. You guys seen those messages from Hostiles? Yeah. They're having problems yeah. with their comms? Say nothing. Yeah, we are, we, they are allowed to throw a red flag if they're having issues like that. We can pause the game. They're trying to soften us up with tubes again. That sounds like an issue on their end more than us. So, I don't understand what that's about. I'm running on terrible internet and I'm getting yeah. comms from uh, guys locally. Yeah, I'm not sure what issues they are having with their comms, but that can be yeah. detrimental. Obviously, if you can't communicate with your team, you're not going to be able to organize any sort of um, plan. Well, that's where and... somebody needs to step up as well, too. Like, you know, just because their SL isn't in for whatever reason. Right, we do allow it. that. Um, Teams can use their red flag, and we can use this command to pause the match. And from that point on, we can decide to either restart based on um, what both clans vote on, um, you know, or we can just pause the match and figure out what's going on, fix those issues, and continue on. You can see having com problems here. That's interesting. Yeah. Pause. Oh, there we go. Pause. Okay, okay, that's all you. Take a zoom out real quick before he pauses it. Um, you can see. I want to note, Ghost, Ghost just kind of grinding them down, basically. They, they've kind of lashed on to South Central there, and they're not letting go. Doesn't seem like they're pushing out either. Um, so, that's 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 not a, not a bad strategy. I mean, they're just trying to kill them with bleed now, and they're just farming tickets off of them is what they're trying to do. You can see towards the north, too, that float squad of the north of Ghost. What they're doing there is they're, they're basically bouncing back and forth east to west, depending on where the enemy's pushing them at, where they're seeing enemies. So they're basically there just to kind of stop any kind of maneuvering around them, you know, as Ghost keeps holding an objective, which is pretty smart. So we're going to have a little float squad back there to move around back and forth. And they're not committing any resources to push another objective past that. So. Yeah, I'm talking with these HSQ guys in the background trying to get their comms sorted. Do you have any idea what the actual comms problem is? No, nope, we're going to go up and talk to them. So guys, we're going to leave this match paused here. We're experiencing, HSC is experiencing some, some comm issues right now. Alright, uh, welcome back everybody. Uh, so, issue, we're having some issues here HS, on the HSG side. Uh, so this is how this works. Two of their guys are having comm issues in game. It looks like it's either a game bug um, or some sort of configuration issue. So it's um, a couple of their players are having issues. Um, so what we allow the clans is they can throw a red flag and we'll pause the match like this. And we brought them into our team speak and discuss the issue as well as bringing um, Ghost Clan leader in as well um, to talk about the issue. They're having comm issues. Uh, we did a little bit of troubleshooting. We weren't able to resolve it, but because it was only two players that were experiencing the issues we have to keep playing. Now we've said before in previous posts that if there's 
um, say four or five players that disconnect, we ourselves as the squad league staff will post, um, we will pause the match and, and try to figure out the issue that's going on. Um, so we're only, we're going to have to get back into it um, here with HSG having comm issues, uh, which is unfortunate. Um, but as you can tell from a competitive standpoint, we have to keep the match going if there is only uh, a couple of players having issues. Um, I don't know if any of the team, if you guys can elaborate on that, our policy and stuff like that. But uh, no, I think you hit right on the head. Yeah. Okay. So I'm giving these guys. Luckily, we do have this admin um, pause game setting. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Definitely saves us. So we did unpause the game and tried to sort some stuff out, but uh. Fortunately, we couldn't resolve anything there, so we got 30 seconds until we unpause this match, and we let them play it out. Now, we will be giving a little bit of a longer intermission trying to um, help HSG sort out these technical issues that they're having. This is all just part of having competitive gaming um, and having your players all around the world. As you have these issues, you're not able to control the stuff that you could control if you were doing the entire tournament in-house. Just one of those things that, you know, any game that's in uh, an early stage of development is always going to have bugs. And, you know, whether that's somebody's hardware incompatibility or, or the software or whether it's whether it's just down and out rare bug, you know, the developers can never fix 100 percent of 100 percent of the yeah, bugs no, with the game. So, you know, we're always going to get to problems like this. Absolutely. Finn, is it possible that you could get a fob at some point? So now we are back into the game with these issues still uh, lingering over HSG. A couple of their guys having comm issues. Trying to pick up the pieces from where we left off here. Yep. Go still holding South Central. Um, they have a flute squad basically to the north of them. It's been bouncing back and forth to the east and west depending on where HSG has been pushing them. They've been pretty effective at stopping any kind of maneuvers around South Central. I'll do that, excellent. Are you dead? Hero, come on, voice. No, no, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Kind of see HSG smoking up the western side of South Central, um, maybe in pre pre preparation for a breach. Hundred and fifteen tickets here for Ghost. Thirty nine here for HSG. Yo, they're all over South Alley and shit. I'm down. So we've just seen hardstyles uh, get shot out on the ridge, and then, you know, he started crawling away. But there was a ghost managed to get a GL straight on point on him. Now, we've seen some real good communication on the ghost side. You know, when they see a target and the rifle want to hit it, GLs are right up there. Yeah, you know, like I said, moving on the east and west hills on this on this layer can be kind of tricky. Um, you almost have to space yourself off to the other side of him, getting definitely to the actual ground down there. And also, too, same goes for any other map, any other objective. And whenever you're attacking it, you don't want to you don't want to show your cards, you don't show your hand until you're ready to. You know, you don't want to just jump out in the open so they're gonna make it see you as you're maneuvering to wherever you want to get into at. You know, you you want to move, you want to move quiet, you want to move, you know, out of sight so the enemy doesn't expect you to come from that direction. I mean, they might, but they don't see you and don't expect you to. Then goes east hill. So. And it goes for any objective, any map. Be aware of where you're running. And how Absolutely. you're getting somewhere. Copy. We're currently at 32 tickets on the HSG side. We gotta get back on objective four. What are the tickets like for, for Ghost? We've got 104 here. 
that's a fairly wide margin that HSG are going to try, going to have to try and pull back in the second round if they uh, want to stand a chance in the fight for the finals. Right, they are definitely talking about ticket conservation at this point. How are we in the cap? I don't know. I'm not on it. I'm asking. Ask your boys. Apparently another crash from hard styles. I, don't, I, don't, I haven't seen this kind of failure before. This, as far as comms and, and crashing. Still. Kind of interesting. Good. Yeah, certainly like see some issues back. on their side. Yeah. As I said before, guys, you know, um, having worked on uh, Daisy, which, you know, started out as a mod and then, you know, it's standalone, in, you know, in earlier versions, you're going to see lots of, like, you know, very rare issues that reproduce and really fix the issues. You need to be able to get those crash dumps and easy repro steps so that the devs can jump on it, you know. Right, it's, uh, uh, when you put a game like this in a in a very, very competitive environment these little bugs can be amplified you know oh. 10 or 100 fold um Big, you know, game case in point right bugs. now if, if that issue was happening in a public game it might make it into a bug report Yo, marked um, enemies, green swords, North you know Kampa. now is you know because of it now it might be uh bumped up there in terms of reproducing the issues that caused it right just because of the the publicity that it does get or what, uh but they should be considered you know if they haven't already um just getting, getting any kind of recording of it that they can, because it's definitely going to go far, right? As far as reporting it, so that'd be that'd be something we probably see from HSG, to see what kind of issues they were having, you know, whatever. Some of the players who experience the issue record some of that gameplay if they can. Right, we do require, um, you know, if, if a guy wants to stream, they can stream, but they have to have the same delay that we have, um, or more, which is uh, usually kind of a it's very difficult for people to get that set up, so a lot of people don't stream because of that. Um, but we do, you know, ask people to record. Um, you know, I, I just think it's a good measure to be recording your matches and uh, your gameplay. Definitely. We actually saw a couple of guys, two or three ghost guys now getting knocked out on the uh, northern side in a compound by uh, a couple of HSG guys that just managed to get the drop on them as they were coming through one of the uh, doorways. Oh yeah, I see that. Right on the uh, ma right off the main road, right there. South alley. Getting bogged down yeah, in these alley. long yeah, alleys, south, alley. south side, just trying to find a way in, and it's just lining um, them up for ghosts to knock them south down alley, real fast. Ghost of yeah, where this fob to the southwest, just uh, northwest of the uh, attack flank down here. Big. They've just been shooting GLs out of there, so. I mean, they might have figured out just the amount of fire that's coming from arrow. They might have identified. Come Pretty accurate. The mark is actually right on top of it. I don't know if they ran guys in there. I'm not sure. Come in, come in, come in. Keep our ticket. Our ticket lost low. 93 tickets here for Ghost. Five tickets left on here for HSG. HSG. It's coming down to the last couple of minutes of the game here. Ghost almost the entire match just hunkering down on South Central. I mean, I don't blame them. It's a very easy compound to defend because of the uh, the um, and and how hard it is to get inside of that compound. But HSG, you know, not not relenting and getting pretty accurate near the end of the match with uh, with grenades coming inside that compound. Copy that. There is, there's a round. There is the round. We're going to take a pause here. Apologize to the oh, stream boys. if this is a little bit nice longer boys. than they would Good like. Job, we'll try to throw up a timer to let you guys know, but we're going to do some a couple of things yeah, in the background here and get our server restarted. See if we can get some of these uh, comm issues to, though, fixed for HSG. But, so that is going to be a win yeah. for Ghost for the first